When you're out there shopping for new shirts, sweaters, or whatever, definitely choose more muted earth tones. Think different shades of navy blue, light blue, white, khaki, gray. And I'll admit just saying those colors right now sounds pretty boring, but you can really get a lot of versatility and more of an interchangeable wardrobe with less pieces by just being able to mix and match these colors. Notice the shirts I have over here. I have white, I have light blue. This is the same one that I'm wearing. I have two of them. I have a lighter mini gingham, micro gingham. I have a darker micro gingham and I have two navy blue. These shirts I can wear with jeans. I can wear with khakis. I can wear with gray pants. Pretty much I can wear any of these shirts with any of the pairs of pants that I have. One exception would be the navy blue polo shirts. I just have to be careful if I'm trying to rock one of these with the jeans. But stay away from your pastel colors, your bright yellows, your bright pinks, your purples, your turquoises. Those colors are going to look great over other muted colors such as black or navy blue jeans or dress pants or chinos. But as soon as you start to wear them over gray or khaki, it starts to fall apart real fast. Not to mention if you like wearing medium brown shoes, those colors don't really match as well. It's just gonna look a lot better with dark brown or black shoes. So while those colors do look awesome on the clothing rack, and I'll admit I used to love wearing purple shirts, teal shirts, bright pink shirts, all that stuff, the blues, the whites, the neutrals, the boring color is gonna be a lot easier to match and create great outfits. Add some dimension to your outfit by utilizing layers. Instead of just wearing the light blue Oxford shirts, those long sleeve button up shirts with an undershirt sleeves rolled up, try to wear a sweater over them or better yet, wear one of the polo shirts with a sweater over them. You can get something like a quarter zip sweater which is gonna look great or if you're like me and you love the V-neck sweaters, that's a great option as well. It's just gonna look a lot more interesting and feel much better than constantly just wearing the same same old button ups, sleeves rolled up to here. I'm not saying never wear it, just don't get caught wearing the same exact thing because it's gonna get pretty boring pretty fast. Bonus tip number three, utilize khaki chinos and khaki colored pants more often. It's super easy to just get caught up in wearing jeans every single day from fall all the way till late spring. And I get it, jeans, especially dark wash jeans are absolutely awesome to wear. But khakis are still gonna be a great option, especially if you like to wear darker colors on top. It's gonna to create a super nice contrast and just something you're not gonna get with dark wash jeans. You're pretty much only gonna be limited to light colors on top or the gray sweater like you saw me wearing before when you're wearing jeans if you do wanna create that contrast. And in the earlier days of fall, the khaki colored pants are usually gonna be a lot more breathable than your denim since your denim is a lot heavier and better, more insulating for those colder months. Don't get caught wearing combat or casual style boots all the time. Branch out and get something a little bit nicer, a little bit dressier, like the Allen Edmonds Dalton wingtip dress boot, which steadily has been discontinued, or some of the other Allen Edmonds boots like the Landon Capto, which is very similar to the Thursday Captain you see right here. Thursday also has the Captain that just has a regular sole. The color brandy looks absolutely awesome. While I do love those combat style boots and those rugged workwear boots, you're gonna get so much more versatility out of wearing a nicer dress boot. And if it's not too cold outside and you're walking a long time, don't be scared to wear something like this, a more comfortable, casual option that's just gonna be overall easier to wear and walk in all day as compared to something like a heavier pair of work boots. Now I know hybrid shoes stirred up a lot of controversy, but I'm telling you, if you wanna to come to New York City and walk 10 miles with me in the rain or the snow, you're probably gonna want something like this toward that end of those 10 miles since a lot of the nicer style boots your feet are gonna be hurting a lot sooner than this. So just branch out, try new things. Boots are sick, but don't discount more comfortable casual shoes like this. They can still look just as good. Thanks for watching.